Hello there and welcome back to the channel. It's me, just another sim guy here and just look how fantastic iRacing is. It's smooth, it's crisp, it's clear. The recording won't do it justice, but in this video I'm going to go into all my settings and all my tweaks that I've made. I've done this rain race literally just to push it to its limits to make sure that it can stay smooth even with all the reflections in the dark with the lights on um, and it just doesn't bat an eyelid guys. So um, I'm going to share with you what I've changed in Pimax Play, what I've changed in iRacing, what I've changed in Windows and Process Lasso has also been optimized a little bit but really it's just to push this system to see how good I can do this game by game and to share the fantastic content with you. So stick around and in the video description you'll also see some downloadable uh, PDF guides that you can use, not only for people with a higher end system like mine, but some of the tweaks I've made will make a difference across multiple systems. So it doesn't matter what system you're using, if you want to get the best out of it, stick around for the changes in this video and then let me know in the comments if it's helped you. As always with these sorts of things, use the changes at your own risk, Make sure you take a restore point of your system. Make sure you back up any files that you're changing so that if something doesn't work for you, you can easily restore it. And if you're in any doubt and this is out of your comfort zone, maybe get someone else to have a look at it for you or don't do it if you're not sure. But yeah, let's get on with the video. Now I didn't want to spend ages on it, but here are the device settings that are common across all uh, in Pimax Play. So. I've kept it at 72 hertz because that allows me to max out some of the in-game settings and some settings in other places and also gives me a lot of headroom so if I do rain or night I don't have to try and tweak uh, anymore and to be honest that is smooth enough for me it's still really really good the lighting setting is quite important the refresh rate will be different on your lighting depending on which part of the world you're in pretty sure for the UK it's 50 but I keep mine on auto I lower the brightness a little bit I use the eye tracking and the auto PPD setting, but again, you might want to choose to do that manually. But other than that, in the device settings, you can have a look at what I've got. And if there's anything different that you want to try, give it a go. Um, but yeah, this works for me really well. And then in the games tab, you can obviously optimize per game. So this is my iRacing settings. I keep the FOV at normal. I keep the image quality at high. I don't touch any of the upscaling so that is at zero if you click on the settings for that you'll see it was at zero and sharpness i let that get handled by eye racing so that's at zero as well don't use any dynamic uh, foveated rendering any quad views because eye racing does such a good job with that with its own um rendering in the game so i let eye racing control all of that and i don't do any of the other stuff except for that hidden mask bit which i think cuts off the bits you can't see um, I haven't touched any of the other stuff, which is sort of, uh, you know, per eye adjustment and anything like that. I think unless you have some really specific needs or medical conditions, you probably don't need to touch any of that stuff. But yeah, that's what's worked for me the best in Pimax Play for eye racing. So first of all, in the display section or in the main sort of section of the game settings, um, hopefully you can see this all right. It was recorded in VR. I've zoomed right in to try and uh, capture what's needed. You can see how I've got it set up to have any sort of um, sort of driver's view settings and stuff like that. There's not much really in here that's important um, until you get to the bottom and you can see what I've got the uh, bits and pieces at in the other section um, to do with the VR. But I thought I'd share that anyway. You can pause it and you can look at it at any point. Here in the display settings, you'll see the VR section and the foveated rendering that we've got set up there. Um, didn't play with too much but the resolution uh, is set to match my desktop um, again this sort of is what I found that works for me so look on the left hand side for the driving right hand side for the racing uh, sorry for the replays um, I've got a few things turned down to low but they don't affect what I see and I haven't found it breaks any sort of immersion I might still play and turn some of these up a little bit um, but some of the key ones for me was turning off uh, dynamic LOD because I found that sort of makes things pop in and out. So I didn't need that. Keep particles on high. Keep the shallows as high as possible. Um, make sure I use HDR. Uh, cap the frame rate uh, a little bit above uh, what the um, what the output is. 
looking for on the Pimax, but you can turn off, turn off the limit. Some people say that with the limit off, it's smoother and with the limit on, it sort of stutters a little bit. I didn't find too many problems, but you might have to pause it to look at the specific settings, but that is how I've got mine um, working the best for me. And whilst I still might do a little bit of tweaking, you know, I, I found that this is really good. And like I say, I tested it in the rain to give it a really good stress test and it didn't bat an eyelid. So I'm really pleased with that. So uh, yeah, I'll share some more footage with you now. Now I will stress again, I don't think that these replays always do the graphics justice because what I see is obviously 3D surround. Um, but you can, what you can see is the detail in the rain. You can see how smooth it is. You can see how clear the graphics are on the other cars. You can look in the mirrors. Now this is always a good test for me when I'm testing this sort of stuff. When you get a chance to look in the mirror, like now, look in that interior mirror, look how many cars there are in my rear view and how crisp it is and the distance it goes back to without any things popping up, without any sort of pixelation it, you know these cars have got headlights on they're in the rain and look at this little train ahead of me obviously the ai is not doing a particularly good job here of uh, giving you some uh, interactive racing but the way that you can see so far into the distance they've all got lights on there's reflections going left right and center you can look to the left and to the right and you can see how smooth it is you won't get you won't get a grasp fully of what i see but trust me this looks incredible, even with some of those settings turned down to low. And like I say, I might still tweak, um, but I wanted to share this. And also what I wanted to add to this is, like I said at the beginning, I did make some changes in Process Lasso. I did do some optimization in Windows just to sort of prioritize things and try and get rid of some micro stutters. Uh, I, not everybody has them anyway, and you might not need to touch that stuff. But what I will do in the link of, uh, uh, sorry, in the description, there will be links to a PDF guide that does cover some of that. And obviously I've got quite a high end system, but no matter what you are racing on, use the guide, uh, use the guide at your own risk, but use the guide to learn about some of the settings that are system, you know, cross system wide optimization. You don't have to have a high end system to prioritize some of this stuff. And you might find with a lower end system or a medium tier system that the changes you can make in Windows and Process Lasso have a higher impact because um, you're likely to be struggling a little bit more. Obviously the in-game settings are on a per system basis. So some of that stuff you might have to lower um, if you're struggling and I'm on VR. So again, that requires extra headroom. If you're on a medium system, but you're not on VR, you might even be able to run it at higher settings, but still some of that stuff is compatible and some of that stuff is good optimization for people on flat screens or people on triple screens um, but again you might want to do your own research um, talk to someone who's in the know and also use things like copilot and chat gpt but again they're not always right use it for advice but uh you know don't always just blindly follow their instructions um, but yeah uh, i hope that's helped take a look at the guide make sure you like and sub um, if this has helped you out and also there's going to be lots more guides coming a full Pimax review coming and there's going to be similar optimization guides to all the rest of the major sims I'm working on AMS 2 I'm working on race room I'm working on dirt rally 2 I'll be working on a set of course at Evo to try and nail down that in VR because that's a real struggle uh, the original set of Corsa with the pure mods and the graphics mods and the rain mods that will be on my agenda and then we'll get to things like LMU and then uh, when they become VR ready uh, or compatible or I purchase them, we've got things like Rensport, PMR and uh, lots of other things besides. So there's always going to be something new and happening in our growing community. So do make sure you stay connected. Join us on Discord. But if this guy has helped you... Uh, which is the most important thing right now, do let me know in the comments. And if you've got any other optimizations that you think I've missed or things that you think I could try or test, then share them as well. Um, I'd love to hear, I don't, you know, I don't pretend that I know everything and I don't pretend that this is the absolute peak of perfection. So if there's something I've missed and you think I should check it out, then let me know. I'll, I'll be all ears and I can always redo this video, uh, give you a shout out and, um, you know, mention where things have been tweaked even further in the future. So thanks for watching. I've been just another sim guy. I hope it's helped you out. I'll catch you on track soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye.